In this video, I will be covering the different ways to enter option orders in Lightspeed Trader. For this demonstration, I created a basic screen layout to provide examples related to this topic, but Lightspeed gives you the ability to customize your layout any way you like. For example, the windows, colors, and fonts can be personalized by the individual trader, or we can start you off with a basic layout to help you get started. First, we have the options order entry window. This window is used to send single leg option orders. You can load an option symbol by double clicking on a symbol in the option chain, or you can manually select from expiration, strike price, and put or call. You can set order parameters by setting contract size, limit price, market, order type, and time and force. The limit price can quickly be adjusted by clicking Inside Bid or Inside Ask. Next, highlight Sell to Open or Close, or Buy to Open or Close, and click on the Go button to send the order to the market. Next, we have the Complex Options Order Entry Window, or COE. The COE can be used for single leg option orders by choosing Single Leg Mode, or it can be used for complex option orders by selecting multiple leg mode in the top right corner of the window. To manually add options for the underlier loaded into the COE, you can choose from the drop downs Type, Expiration, Strike, Side, Ratio, and Price. The ratio quantity must always be the lowest common denomination when used with the quantity field at the top of the window as the multiplier for your order. To automatically adjust the limit price, click on Bid, Ask, or Last. To have your limit price dynamically update, double click on Bid, Ask, or Last. You can see when the dynamic price update is set when the price is yellow. You can also manually add an equity leg to the strategy by clicking on the Add Equity Leg button and you can reverse the side of each leg with one click by clicking the reverse button. If you would like to save the specific strategy that you built in the COE, you click Save As, name the strategy, and click OK. Now the custom strategy is listed under the Spreads dropdown. The Strategies dropdown can be used to set up a complex strategy for the legs that are loaded into the COE. To remove the legs from the COE, click the X next to each leg, or simply click the Reset button to remove all legs. To add options to the COE from the Option Chain, you select or multi-select options and choose either Add Selected Options to COE, or choose a predefined strategy from the Add Option Strategy to COE menu. In this example, I will multi-select two SPY calls in the option chain and choose Debit Spread. Notice that you will only be able to choose strategies that are available based on the selected options. Now that the legs of the Debit Spread are loaded into the COE, you can set the order parameters such as Quantity, Net Price, Time and Force, Market, and Order Type. The COE will show how much you will pay or receive for the loaded strategy, and in the bottom right, you can see the calculated spread. Once the parameters are set, click the Go button to send the order. Now you can review the details of the order in the Confirm window, including price, spread, and buying power requirement. Then click Yes to send the order to the market. To cancel orders, first select the order in the Orders window, right-click, and choose from one of the available cancel options. You can also cancel orders by selecting and right-clicking on an order in the Executions window and choosing Cancel Selected. Next, we have the Options Level 2 Order Ticket, which can be added to the Option Level 2 window by right-clicking and choosing Show Order Ticket. This order ticket will send option orders for the symbol loaded in that Option Level 2 window. 
You can change symbols in the Option Level 2 by double-clicking on a symbol in the Option Chain, highlighting an option in the chain and clicking the button in the top left, or manually choosing an option from the drop-downs. To set order parameters, select from Quantity, Price, Order Type, Market, and Time and Force. Clicking Buy or Sell will send the order to the market. The Cancel button can be set in the configuration settings to either Cancel Last Order or Cancel All Orders. By right-clicking and choosing Settings, you can set default parameters such as Quantity, Market, Order Type, and Time and Force. The Style subtab offers the ability for you to customize fonts and colors and the locations of the Buy and Sell buttons within the order ticket. This concludes our training video on how to enter options orders in Lightspeed Trader. For more information on topics such as a basic introduction to the windows in Lightspeed, how to enter equity orders in Lightspeed, and trading complex options in Lightspeed, please see our other training videos and sign up for our weekly webinars. Thank <laughs> you.